Hi guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm still working on clearing that shelf of mine um, so that I can put all my books, you know, um, nicely lined up and, you know, neatly stored. So I've got another couple of canvases here. These are quite small size. Um, they are, what are they? Um, I think they're eight by eight. So they're a lot smaller than the ones that we worked with the other day. So what I'm going to do, as you can see, these ones haven't been painted or anything. So I'm just going to start by literally painting them up. And all I'm going to do is just use some acrylic paint. And I'm just going to take oops, my first one. And um, we'll just have it sort of pink with some ivory. Like that. And, you know, I just try and go round, round the frame at the same time. Like that. I seem to have a lot more, more ivory going on than I do pink here, but never mind. You know, that's fine. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to actually do with these so it'll be very much wing and a prayer while we're while we're doing the video okay so we just go all around let's be careful or else I'll get rid of any touches of pink that I did have perhaps I need to add a little touch more otherwise I'm just going to end up literally with no pink at all so Okay. I don't want it like really bright, obviously, like fluorescent, but I do want it to have a little touch of pink. So that's that one. I'm just going to pop that to one side just to dry. Okay. Now, can't be bothered to wash my brush up. Very naughty. So I'm just dabbing it off on some paper that's in my carrier bag beside me. Like that. Okay. I mean, there wasn't a great deal of pink on there as we saw anyway so hopefully this is going to be fine so again I'm just going to use this same colour and then we'll do some this is like this lovely sage green like that okay so again just go round I'll start with this and then hopefully my green will be a bit more noticeable than the pink was so use up you know some of this colour first so try and get it round the edge of the frame a little bit okay isn't that just the most lovely colour green I really do love that colour and then we'll be done and to be honest this acrylic paint on these canvases I mean it literally takes like no time at all to dry so you know in a few minutes that will literally be dry so like that okay sort of blend it a bit more right let me just now go and pop these back on the shelf and then hopefully it will be dry okie dokie well they're not quite dry but they're certainly getting there so you know it's not too too bad so what i've brought along with me is i've got this um ladybird book of garden birds and you know i've used it sort of occasionally before so some of the pages are already torn out but it happened to have this gorgeous page which isn't that beautiful and hopefully you can kind of see it's got lots of sort of pinks and you know just in here it's very similar to that sort of beigey you know creamy colour that we've used on the canvas so I thought that would be absolutely lovely on there and then of course as per the other ones that we did if you caught my my last video where I did the slightly larger canvases I've also got again some more of that lovely verse um, you know the book of American verse that Laura kindly gifted me and I've also got sorry I'm just reaching for it now because uh, it's now got buried but 
I've also got this um, gorgeous piece of uh, vintage newsprint, you know, which again, I mean, look at those lovely colours. And again, against kind of all three together, don't they just look so lovely? So that's what I'm kind of hoping to use, I think, to decorate this up. I've just got a couple more minutes and then it will be hopefully completely dry. So I'm going to go and wash my brush up now um, so that I can use it for the Mod Podge. Okay, I'm back. So my canvas is now dry and everything and all ready to use. Um, so all we're going to do is just like we did with the other ones, is just sort of pop our pieces on, you know, in a sort of nice, nice appearance. So again, what I'm going to do is use some of this lovely um, book of verse. So I'm just going to find, you know, a nice section. So I'm just going to tear this down. I mean, obviously this is quite a small canvas. So, you know, you might not really see very much of this verse at all. Because obviously by the time those birds get on there, there's not going to be a great deal of room. Um, but, you know, we'll just have it ready ready to use anyway so just put that down so my um birds as you can see i mean they're quite large at the moment so what i'm going to do is again just tear these down i want to keep as much of the pretty flowers as i can so i'll just tear it down like that as close to those flowers as i possibly can but you know making it smaller <laughs> wondering whether actually we could separate these out and have them kind of like in two different positions what do you think should we try that let's just try that so just going to tear this one out here like this I think And then this one now, we can obviously tear it slightly more, you know, bird shaped. I mean, I'm not fussy tearing this exactly sort of round the bird, but I'm just tearing it a lot more round the bird, if you see what I mean. A lot more round the bird than it was like that. So, I mean, that looks really pretty, doesn't it? It's quite nice to have the two on there but separate so this one i might just tear this down slightly more because now i feel like that's a bit of a weird shape so maybe you know more like that yeah i quite like it like that i think and then as i say i've got this gorgeous gorgeous newspaper which i mean i just absolutely love this um you know color of this print so let's just decide which which way we want it and yeah let's just tear it across here maybe something like that now I also bought along got that doily which I've dyed with the food coloring and as you can see, I mean, this look, it's just perfect colour for that canvas. So I thought that might be quite nice to have somewhere too. Maybe like that. I think looks quite pretty. Yeah. Now, do we want to have a number or anything on this one? I just, these numbers just look really good. Um, you know on these kinds of things to be honest so you know I quite like them just cut that down I was gonna go for the pink but I thought actually I think maybe the 
the brown is kind of like you know better more impactful um so we've got those now just wondering whether we want any other flowers or anything so just having a look i've got my little flowers here from like my fabulous flowers maybe maybe those might be good oh i don't know decisions decisions right i know what i am going to do i think so i've got my toffee crunch um obviously i don't know quite how it's going to turn out on this canvas because of course you know i haven't really used it against well i haven't used toffee crunch crunch on the canvas at all ever before um but hopefully it's going to look good so let's just grab out oops some sort of decorative stamp sorry my my drawer is now completely wedged hold on oh, come on come on drawer down while I'm doing a video please <laughs> right let's just have a look okay well I've got this gorgeous corner stamp so let's just take the toffee crunch and I probably oops now I've dabbed it in paint I probably should um you know check this off somewhere so oops oh my gosh honestly I've kind of started clearing up and um, you know what it's like you kind of have to go through the rough to get to the smooth I'm at that stage at the moment so I am hopefully getting to the smooth but well I mean as you know I've, I've started clearing because of course that's why I'm why I'm here with the canvases because I'm just you know getting them off my shelf okay so i mean it's not particularly dark or anything um and in which case i mean i could use i've got saddle brown and i've got timber brown this is really nice and delicate so this might be you know this might be just kind of what we need to be honest because i'm trying to go for quite a delicate looking canvas here so let's just take that and we're just going to stamp that there I mean, again, I probably should have put something beneath this so it sort of picked up better, you know, instead of just sinking in in the middle. But actually, it's not come out too bad. And then I'm just going to then take, you know, just this section here and just do a little bit of stamping in the corner like that. Maybe just going up there a bit. Okay, put that out of the way. So now I'll just move this to one side. I should really clean my desk up, but never mind. I'm just going to ink up this rhyme. So we'll just ink it up a little bit. Not too much, but just a bit. I mean, it is vintage book page, but you know, it's not very discoloured. So just ink that up a bit now I don't know whether I'm going to use any of those flowers or not but I might just ink up one or two of the you know the flowers here so I'll just there we go and then I might just ink up one or two as I say I don't know whether I'm going to use these or not but let's just ink them up and then we're ready oh that's a blue one that was a blue one that just snuck in there. Okay. I don't think that's going to go. Um, oh, well, let's just ink these up quickly. Excuse my messy fingers. I obviously have been doing other videos already. So, um, different day for you, but same day for me as when I did the, you know, the bigger canvases. So I'm already quite mucky from those, I'm afraid. Right, let's have a look and see how this looks now. So pull our canvas back in. Just get rid of any bits that have gone on there. Right, let's bring. I love that, um, that newspaper. It's just so nice, isn't it? I'm gonna have that there this here 
And then that there. That there. So I just needed to check kind of the order that I need to be gluing things in. Do we prefer it like that, maybe? Yeah, I think I do. So, oops. I still have a bit of paint that's slightly wet there. Okay, so I'm just going to get gluing some of these bits down. So I think what I'm going to do is just sort of apply the um, Mod Podge to the canvas pretty much rather than the individual bits because of course, you know, that newspaper is very delicate. So it's better to just get that on, I think, in one, one piece rather than trying to you know, paste my glue on the back of it, so. I can't help but think maybe I don't like that whole strip because it's quite wide and blank. I'm just going to tear that down. Okay. Then we want to have our poem down here. Sorry about the um, shouting outside. That's not my daughter. It must be our neighbours. Um, they must have like a friend or something to play because you never hear them shouting like that. But yeah, they're obviously having a nice time. So uh, sorry about that. And then I'm just, again, going to just paste onto the page to put that doily piece down. down so I hope everyone's having a good day I hope that you're liking these canvases I mean obviously because I film in ahead I haven't uploaded one yet so I mean they might be just a complete flop and maybe <laughs> maybe nobody's watching them and that's, you know, that's just kind of how it is, isn't it? You don't know until you put things up whether people are really going to be interested. But, I mean, of course, you hope that people will like them, um, you know, because that's why we <laughs> put the videos up. But, you know, there's no telling, really, um, until it goes up. So, yeah, I mean, I hope that everybody is enjoying them. But, you know, it's okay if you're not. I'm, I'm enjoying doing the... Um, doing it, so... Okay, my canvas is getting a little bit saturated now, but that's okay. Right, then I'm going to have this bird down here. Aren't they just so gorgeous, those birds? They're so pretty, aren't they? Right, I will just kind of try and paint it onto the, the book page, I think because my canvas is getting very soggy. So we'll put it on there like that. My other bird, let me just wipe my fingers a little bit. Just check that I'm that I'm in frame. Okay. Oh gosh, now look. I think I've actually torn that. Yep, I have. Right, what I'll do is just ink that up a bit. Okay, right. My finger obviously got kind of stuck on it and with the mob podge where it was quite soggy, I pulled a little bit off. So but that's okay, it's easily, you know, easily repaired. So I'm going to have my other bird there. Now, before I stick that down, I just want to see what else that I would like to have. So again, let me just have a bit of a rummage because I have got, um, 
you know, like my book plates and things here. So just going to bring in these little flowers just in case we want any any additional flowers there. I mean, they're quite pretty, aren't they? No, not that one, not that one. Right, let's just pop those down. Yeah, I definitely need to clean my mat off. It's uh, getting very messy with these. I forgot how messy, how messy the canvases are. You know, it's such a long time since I've done them, but they are so fun. And because these are now different, you know, to the canvases that I've made in the past, i.e., you know, I'm using all kind of book pages and what have you, they're actually even more fun. You know, they're more fun than they even were before. So, um, yeah, really, really, really fun. Oops, I might not have enough Mod Podge on that. Right, let me just put a bit on my bird. I'm just going to put a bit more under that flower. Oh, come on. Okay. I do like to make sure my stuff's stuck down really well. So um, if you're thinking, oh my gosh, you know, she's very heavy handed with the Mod Podge. I'd rather be heavy handed um, with the Mod Podge and have everything stuck down than, you know, like have it suddenly then coming up again in a couple of weeks or a couple of days or a couple of hours um, you know I always kind of worry that things are not going to be stuck down very well so that's why I like to you know have much more rather than less right that's that now let me find my my book plates because um, I'm thinking you know a book plate would be good right let's have a look where have I put them Again, I've been using them for another project, so I know that they are here. Oh, would you believe it? I've just got one there for a minute. I mean, obviously the rest are here, but who knows? They're like buried now. Oh, come on. I've got these ones, which are huge. They are way too big. Yeah, way too big. Oh, I've got these ones, but these are on that photographic paper, so they look very yellow. Which, you know, they're not quite right colour-wise. Let's see if I've got any others that aren't on the photographic paper. Mm -hmm. Right, let me just move this out of the way. Oh my gosh. Just always the way, isn't it? I had started cutting out a whole bunch of them, and um, now I can't remember now what I actually did with them. Oh, that's so annoying. Right, okay. Right, so we're going to have to either have quite a yellow one or that one. I mean, actually, that's quite yellow as well, but to be fair, it doesn't look too bad. So, let's just cut this out. Oops. Okay. Like that. have it like that um and I will I think put a um you know a couple of brads in there as well because it does look really you know it just to me it looks like the brads would really look good on there so what have I done with my paintbrush now mm. okay let's just pop that on just make sure that's kind of straight Okay, so again, I'm just going to go over my entire thing now with the Mod Podge. I mean, to be honest, it's pretty soggy anyway, so um, yeah, I'm probably making the wrinkles much, much worse at the moment, but 
you know, I just want to kind of cover it all before I do anything like stick any lace on or anything, if we're going to put some lace on. So, like that. Okay. Hey, sweetheart. I've got some water. You've got some water? Good girl. Thirsty work, is it? Right, so that's that one. Now, what I might do is just put this to one side, wait for it to dry for a moment while we do the smaller one. Um, I wish I knew what time we were up to because obviously where I've stopped the camera, I now don't really know how long I've been filming for. Right, but let's try and get a bit of a move on with this one and not, not waste too much time. So for this one, what I've done is brought along, oops, that I've now knocked on the floor, hold on. <laughs> I've brought along some um, of these gorgeous images from that Enid Blyton um, beautiful Treasury of Verse book. So again, I thought let's tear down these beautiful fairies which are in these lovely shades of this kind of mint green which will hopefully kind of pick up the um, colour of the canvas really nicely. So let's just, I mean obviously you can see they're pretty long so I'm probably going to have to tear this off somewhere. I'll just tear it all and then we can see, you know, where to tear it down. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this because it's just got a bit of word poking out there. And then I think I'm going to have to tear her foot off like that and then or I might just tear her off here like at the bottom of her dress like that okay that's better and then I'll just tear this in here like that okay so then I'm going to just come along here I'm not going to tear around the fairies particularly I'm just going to literally tear I mean not in a straight line exactly but just along that edge like that. Like that. And doesn't that just look so pretty? I mean, those colours just really look lovely on there, don't they? And then I've got that gorgeous doily piece, which actually maybe is a little bit too green. Well, I thought that was going to look so pretty, but actually it might be it's a little bit too bright. So I've got some other that was also dyed with that aqua type colour, but it's not quite so... Oh, that looks even brighter actually. <laughs> Let me just tear down this section. I mean, obviously if we ink this as well, it will tone it down quite a lot. So that might be, you know, that might be the trick here. Or perhaps we just need to do some coffee dyed doily instead. Let's just have a look. Oh, maybe that looks better. I thought this green was going to look just lovely, but I mean, it just goes to show, doesn't it? You just can't tell sometimes until you actually put it there what's going to really, you know, look best. So you have to just kind of play around and experiment a bit really. So let's just tear a bit of this newspaper down. I mean again I just oh, love this um, colour of this newspaper, it's so pretty isn't it? So we've got that there and then just wondering if we need anything else from this little fairy book like over on this side. No, 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 no. Okay, right, so what I'm going to do again, I think, is um, maybe just start sticking down. Do we want to start sticking down straight away? It's probably best because then I'm, you know, then I'm on my way and I am committed, whereas otherwise, who knows, you know, it can take me forever. So it's good to, good to just get started. Right. Okay. So 
hopefully I'm sort of roughly where I need to be. Well, hopefully not a million miles out anyway. Yeah, it's not too bad. So just go sort of roughly down that line there to put my next layer of Mod Podge on for the doily piece. down I mean again this is like now getting soggier by the minute but you know it's fine okay and then we'll just stick the fairies the little strip of fairies on down the side here Okay, so it's quite saturated now, but you know, hopefully everything's you know nicely st stuck down. So, oops, not that one, not that piece. That's not nicely stuck down at all. Let me just dab that in with a bit of Mod Podge there. Oh, come on. Right, so that looks really pretty. Okay, so let's just see what we want to put around on there. Now I have got some of my words. Oops. So, I mean, we could have some of these just dotted, you know, kind of along here or something. So let's just have a look. I've got inspirational. Now, these are printed on card, and I have to say, really, in hindsight, these would be much better, you know, if I'd have just printed them on copy paper, to be honest, but never mind. So, we've got inspirational. Oh, let's have unique and beauty, I think. So, let's just check that I'm filming and I'm in frame suddenly thought oh I've been filming for a long time I hope my battery hasn't gone or you know my space hasn't run out or any of those things okay Oops. we've got wonder we have got a unique Beauty. Okay, right. So that's a few little words that we can have somewhere. So let's ink them up a bit. I mean, to be honest, they don't really kind of need inking. I mean, actually, they look sort of nice. Um, you know, maybe a little bit cleaner on this one. I'm not sure, but we'll just ink it lightly. I think. So I might have one over the fairies. Oops, what did I just say? I said, oh, I'm just going to ink them lightly. And then did you see what happened to that one? Couldn't have been more heavy handed with it, to be honest. Oh, well. there 
I don't know, or maybe we've got too many words if we have four, so maybe we'll just have it like that. Um, I did also bring along some of my little coloured flowers that we made. Oops, they're now glued together, hold on. Um, because I just wondered whether we could have had a little flower somewhere. So that might be quite cute on this one. And I have got obviously that green lace, which might be quite nice on here. So again, what I might do is just a little bit of stamping with this pretty um, uh, caramel, uh, toffee, toffee crunch. So let me just check that's up the right way. So I'm going to just use a section of this stamp and I should probably put something underneath this, to be honest, because, um, you know, I might end up stamping, stamping nowhere. I'll just move these out of the way. And just stamp that down. Like that. And then I think we'll just have a bit of script or something up the top, so. Oops, got that scripty stamp there. Just hit there. Okay. And actually, I'm just thinking should we do what we did with the other one? With the black edging I'm not sure I'm not sure about that so we'll hold fire on doing that for just a minute so I'm going to put the inspiration all over here we're going to have wonder and beauty sort of like there let me just pull in this green lace now which green is that okay. just because I've got the sort of aqua color and I've also got the you know this this colour more so uh, I might not be able to get this quite looking quite right because it's just going to be like a flat strip so let me just cut that down and see how that would look okay. not straight at all because I was cutting out a funny angle I, well that's not necessarily why I mean might not have been very straight anyway but just pop that down like that and then just thinking you know could we then have like the little flower on there as well oh that's lovely thank you son's just bought me a cup of tea I've been videoing back to back and um I know I always say this, but it is quite thirsty work because you're obviously talking all the time. So, yeah, it gets to the point where you do kind of need a cup of tea, really. Okay, I'm going to do that, I think. And then I might just put like a little row of pearls or something like that down there. So let's just glue these pieces on. Just glue this word down. Oops. Watch out, darling. Okay, and then we'll just put this word here. And again, actually, what I probably should do is now Mod Podge the whole thing, shouldn't I? Before I before I forget to do that. So we put that down there. But actually, what I was wondering, I don't know whether I've got any left, but just before I do that, I've just wondered about some glitter or something over here. So let me just have a look, hold on. Right, I'm actually out of glitter. Um, I quite like using, you know, just those glitter glues. They're sort of kids' um, glitter glues. I think they're quite effective. Um, so what I'm going to do, I've just got this liquid pearls, I haven't used this for a long time, so, and again, I'm just going to kind of dab it on, just at the, at the edges. So 
so it takes on a more sort of fairy tale-esque type look well not fairy tale but fairy fairy garden type look so there's a bit there and I'm just gonna now do a bit more up here Oops. I, to be honest I could just go right the way around might be quite nice to go right the way around I don't know whether even the camera's picking that shimmer up to be honest but it looks really pretty because it's just very delicate and um, you know just kind of captures a little bit of highlighting so I'll at least put a little bit down here I think like that and then a bit more up here just want to go right the way along on that one. Oh no there must be not much left in here I haven't used it for such a long time but I didn't realize I had not a lot left because I don't use them overly often so I didn't realize I'd even used so much you know in its lifetime hope I've got it all that I want to get okay so I mean hopefully you can kind of see that it's just giving it a bit of a shimmer there um, down the edge as I say I mean in an ideal world I would have some glitter and I would have then just dabbed some glitter glue onto those fairies and that would just look so pretty you know really just finish it off nicely um, but I'm out I'm out of it so um, yeah I won't be able to do that but you know I like how that looks anyway so let's just now mod podge over all of that. Because I mean effectively, you know, we're just sealing this now. Making sure that it's all you know, stuck down nicely. Okay. Like that. Right. So probably I should wait for this one to dry now, like we have the pink one, and then pull it back in to add the lace. Let's have a look. So if I pull the pink one back in and we wait for this one to dry and we're going to just add then, you know, these trims to the, the green one. So I'll swap them over for a minute. Okay, so we've got the pink one back now. I mean, that's kind of just lifting a little bit. So I just need to just re-stick that down. I mean, again, we could go around the edge of this with the pretty pearls as well that would look quite pretty let me just have a bit of my tea again shall we do that let me just bring them back I haven't put them away so they haven't got very far okay yes these canvases you get very messy very messy making these but wow they're good fun okay that looks really pretty and then again just a bit more here and again you know if I had some glitter I could just glitter up a little bit in those flowers and that would look really pretty um, right well that's on my shopping list now for getting Okay, and then we'll just go along here a little bit. Oops. I knew that was going to roll on the floor. Like that. Just down the edge. 
and just a little bit in that final corner. Like that. Okay, let me just now put the lid on this and move it out of the way. Because we're definitely done with the perfect pearls now. Right, that's out of the way. So, do we want to have anything maybe like a butterfly or something on here? Something 3D-ish? What do you think? Or, you know, again, we could kind of add like another sort of pretty flower or something. I mean, we did say about putting the brads in, so of course we can do that. Um, just having a rummage, seeing what other stuff I've got laying about. So I've tried to organise all my laces in my new drawers, which is great because, um, I mean, they're not all in there, but we have got a lot of them in there now. So I've got this really pretty lace. I think this was sent in Happy Mail. That might just look really nice somewhere on here, mightn't it? Let's just cut off a little section. Could have that there. Oops. Maybe like that. Now, do we want any more? Is that kind of enough? That's probably enough. So let me just now put that back away in the drawer. Oh, these drawers are so fantastic. Mary, again, I have to say thank you so much. I mean, as I say, I am very much work in progress at um, clearing them, you know, hence obviously doing these canvases, but Oh, they are just like, yeah, a complete game changer. So thank you very, very, very much. It was so incredibly thoughtful of you. And um, yeah, they're just amazing. So I will have like no excuses soon for, um, for being in a mess. It's just wonderful. I mean, as I say, the things that I have put in there so far, sorry, that button's just gone under my mat. Um, I'm not saying that I have got things, you know, in the best places. Oh gosh, look. Oh no. I don't know now where that button's gone. The button I was reaching for, it just kind of slid under the mat. And now it's obviously gone somewhere else, so sorry about that. It was another button the same as that, and I thought, oh, that would be brilliant. out of the way off the table okay right so I definitely like the lace here I like that little button I'm just wondering whether we want any sort of flower or something so just having a look around to sort of see whether I've got anything calling me right now I mean, they're very white, unfortunately. They're not really quite right. Let's stick that lace down and then we're at least committed to something. Okay. Right. Oh, I really do need to get one of my other dry wipes. My dry wipes are in my little overhanging door. It's not an overhanging door, but you know, my little thing that I made um, from that, uh, you know, old Roman blind. They're over there in that. And um, yeah, I try and remember to grab a clean one every time that I come on. And obviously where I've done a video earlier, I'm still using the same one. So it's pretty mucky now. Right, I'm liking that. I feel like I need something up here. I'm not quite sure what. And I would really like a little flower or something, but I'm struggling to find quite the right thing. Um, I'm still struggling. 
Let's have a look and see about a butterfly because we did say that, didn't we? So have I got anything the right colour? That's not quite right, is it? Mm, oops, that's definitely not right. It's very bright. Oops, now I've dropped one on the floor. Got that little sort of beigey colour one. Uh, here we go, there's a pink one. Right, let me just ink up a couple and see what might look good. So, let's just ink a couple up. What are we thinking? Maybe that one. Well, that's not too bad, to be fair. Let's just ink that up a bit. It might not show up all that much, but it might do once it's inked. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? I'll just ink up another one, just in case. I think this will be, you know, too bright, actually, but... Let me stand up and look down. Again, because you do get this different perspective when you sort of look down. I think maybe the pink one after all, because the other one doesn't really show up that much. So, yeah, let's just go for that pink one. And I will just pop that down with this. And then it's just, you know, it's not completely flat. It's got a little bit of 3D. I mean, I don't really want the wings flapping as such, but, you know, equally it's not quite stuck down. Did I stick that button down? Yeah. So now I'm going to just put my brads through. So we just pierce a hole here and here, like that. Okay. Again, my brads, um, I do need to sort them and, um, you know, have them on their own. I had them, like, chucked them into this tin. But this tin is full of all sorts, so, um, you know, hence it's got lots of different things in there and I have to then rummage around to find them. Which seemed like a good idea at the time, but... It's only when you come to use things, really, and sort of... That's when you discover, you know, whether it works or not, because then you think, oh, actually, you know, that's a bit of a nuisance, or, you know, that works really well, so... Oops. I'll leave that button down yet. So we just pop those two brads through. I have to be a bit careful because this is still quite wet. You know, from the Mod Podge. So there we go. Okay, and then that little button we can just then pop down just there, I think. Looks really pretty, doesn't it? Okay, so that's that canvas. And as I say, I mean, I normally do kind of pop some ribbon on here, so I will do that. And then when I come back to kind of show you, you know, them finished when they've dried out properly and things, hopefully the ribbon will be on there. So that's that one. Let's pull in the green one, the fairy one again, and just finish that off. So again, just pull that back and then we were going to have this kind of lace strip down there with just like a flower here. Now I'm not worried that this lace is very wonky, I think that's quite nice. Um, I realise that's probably not everybody's you know, cup of tea, probably not to everybody's liking, but you know, I think it looks quite pretty like that. So um, yeah, I'm not going to get too too worried I'm not even going to try and trim it down to size because then I think it would look you know a little bit odd if it was just completely straight along there I think it looks nicer and better sort of at a bit of a wonky weird weird angle so there we go pop that down like that and, you know, you can see it's kind of overhanging at the top. I quite like that, but I might just trim that sort of this this off because that looks a little bit, um, what's the word? You know, kind of pointy. 
Right, do we want the flower a bit higher or do we want it a bit lower? No, I like it higher because if it's a bit lower, it looks like it's then, you know, I'm doing something to make corners somehow of the journal. So for me, that's not, you know, not a good look. So like that, really, 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 really pretty. And then I'm just going to finish it off she says yep okay with just a little strip of pearls I think just down here so just gonna take I don't know like three or four oops three or four or five you know how many come off <laughs> just going to pop them there in that corner so again we'll just pop them down a bit now that is my daughter I can't claim that to be the neighbours that is my daughter out there playing now on the trampoline probably annoying her brothers no doubt who are probably just sat out there quietly okay so that's that one and again as I say you know I'll probably put some nice ribbon on that um, you know it won't hang from the ribbon if you see what I mean um, I mean you could but you know I wouldn't recommend that I'd hang it like I say from the the wooden frame but just have the ribbon as a decorative piece kind of coming off so yeah I hope that you like them I mean I think they're a lot of fun to make and um, yeah I hope that you like them and uh, I hope you'll join me again soon so thanks very much and see you guys soon bye